Anaphylaxis and the Immune System, 27 Problems and Solutions. What is anaphylaxis? If you're serious about watching this and other videos on our channel, please subscribe, and then kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the Natural Health Guys channel. Your immune system is the protector of your body. This video, Anaphylaxis and the Immune System, 27 Problems and Solutions, highlights how your immune system deals with allergic reactions and what happens when the immune system is not healthy enough to cope with an anaphylactic shock and anaphylaxis takes a hold. So, what is anaphylaxis, and have you heard of it, or even suffered from it? If so, please leave a comment below this video to share your experience. Your immune system protects you from foreign organisms such as bacteria and viruses to help protect against illness. On occasions your immune system may attack your own cells or body substances that it considers to be a foreign body. Sometimes it gets too sensitive and creates an excessive reaction to a relatively non-threatening substance. Here are those 27 problems, features and solutions of your immune system and anaphylaxis, set out in three stages. Number 1. The role of your immune system to allergic reactions. The following are the first 10 of 27 steps or phases your body goes through when faced with allergic reactions. 1. The consequent reaction by the body causes more distress than the substance itself would have. 2. This hypersensitive reaction by our immune system is termed allergic reaction or allergy. 3. It's a condition wherein the body produces an immune over-response even if only a small amount of the triggering substance is encountered. 4. Common immune responses of our body include itchiness, swelling, sneezing and pain. 5. Allergy is termed an immediate immune response, owing to its characteristic rapid reaction to a stimulus, the allergen. 6. Immune responses can be relatively mild such as a runny nose, swelling, redness in the body, and itchiness. 7. These allergies can be caused by various things like pollens, food, chemical substances and some medications. 8. A severe and extremely dangerous form of allergy is called anaphylaxis. Number 2. What is anaphylaxis? When a person is experiencing anaphylaxis, they may first feel milder allergy symptoms like sneezing, redness and itchiness. This can escalate to feeling nauseous and then vomiting. Sometimes referred to as anaphylactic shock, these symptoms can be mistaken for flu or an upset stomach and not given serious attention. The following tend to be the next 14 phases of anaphylaxis that people suffer with. 1. Symptoms may then escalate to diarrhea and clamminess. 2. In a full-blown anaphylactic episode, respiratory distress, difficulty in breathing, can occur quickly. 3. It's imperative to seek emergency medical care immediately, as anaphylaxis, if not treated promptly can cause death. 4. Most anaphylaxis occurs due to a food, or drug, or sting, or bite allergy. 5. These types of allergies are most dangerous, as the allergens are being introduced to the body either orally or via your blood. 6. They will affect the muscles and organs inside the body, not just outside, so the effect is more dangerous and rapid. 7. The muscles of the throat and airways will be inflamed, and will start to swell thus preventing the flow of air. 8. It's necessary to intubate the patient if this symptom occurs. 9. It might also affect the blood vessels thus preventing adequate flow of blood, and will result in low blood pressure due to vasodilation. 10. During an allergic reaction and anaphylaxis, the white blood cells release too much histamine which causes the symptoms. 11. The only way to alleviate such symptoms is to take antihistamine medications. 12. However, during anaphylaxis, the throat and esophagus might be so closed that oral taking of antihistamine medications is impossible. 13. The most common treatment for anaphylaxis is epinephrine, a form of adrenaline that can be administered intramuscularly or intravenously. 14. Epinephrine promotes vasoconstriction and rapid blood circulation. Number 3. Summary and Conclusion. The above is predominantly about dealing with the symptoms of anaphylaxis and dealing with the anaphylactic shock that the body experiences, and so it's important to bear in mind the following final five key points. 1. Care needs to be taken if you or anyone else suffering with anaphylaxis
has a history of heart complaints, as epinephrine also affects the heart rate. 2. Common victims of allergic reactions and anaphylaxis are children, as it's difficult to monitor every movement or contact a child makes. 3. It's therefore important to be aware of possible allergies you may have, and to limit contact with any known allergens. 4. Appropriate and rapid management if an attack occurs is vital if symptoms of anaphylaxis are observed, and 5. Always keep in mind that the way your immune system reacts to allergens is very much determined by your cellular health ratio at an essential fatty acids level. In other words, if your cellular health is chronically inflamed which applies to about 95% of people, your immune system is already at a disadvantage when it comes to a. Repelling allergens, and b. Helping to stop them from developing into anaphylaxis. So, having watched this video, the real question you need to ask yourself is, is my cellular health in, or out, of balance? This brings us on to the next video in this series of Secrets of Allergies, where you'll discover the common types of allergies. In the meantime, we hope you found this video, Anaphylaxis and the Immune System, 27 Problems and Solutions, helpful and of interest. So please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, why not become an exclusive subscriber of this channel? By clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video, and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the many types of allergies and how to deal with them, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.